Hi, I'm Fraser Douglas, the Avid Tent Camper. On this cold winter day, I want to tell you about one of our favorite camping destinations, Helen, Georgia. Helen is located in the extreme northeastern corner of Georgia near the southern boundary of the Chattahoochee National Forest. It is about 100 miles north of Atlanta and about 150 miles south of Knoxville, Tennessee. Families will find many fun things to do in Helen any time of the year, but especially during one of their annual festivals. Oktoberfest is by far the most popular of these festivals. It runs from late September through early November. During Oktoberfest, the Fest Hall is the center of fun activities. Several different bands are booked to play German music every night of the week and all day Saturday. And these bands entertain the guests with a variety of songs, activities, and instruments. Many regulars return every year to enjoy the festivities. They dress in German or Bavarian clothing and they try to sit as close to the dance floor as possible. Ava and I came for eight years straight, but we've missed the last two years. Every day, guests have numerous opportunities to dance the polka and the waltz and the chicken dance and the hokey pokey and the flying song and many other fun songs and activities. The kitchen serves delicious worst platters that includes your choice of sausage, potato salad, red cabbage, and other sides. A good variety of American and German beers are available, and you can purchase this beer in a variety of souvenir cups, mugs, and boots. Here are three mugs that we picked up over the last 10 years. My sister and brother-in-law got their picture taken in front of one of several backdrops in the fest hall. And if you come back several times, you're bound to make a friend or two. When you get tired of sitting at the fest hall and listening to music there, you'll find a wide variety of hotels, great restaurants, unique shops, and interesting activities on the streets of Helen. The Cafe International that sits on the banks of the headwaters of the Chattahoochee River is one of our favorite restaurants. Their Reuben platters are the best and this shrimp salad was also excellent. These photos taken over the last 10 years show just a few of the many street activities and events. Other nearby activities include tubing on the Chattahoochee River, hiking up to see Anna Ruby Falls, Exploring unique shops, hiking up to Brasstown Ball, the highest point in Georgia, visiting the Gold Museum in Dahlonega, hiking a short section of the Appalachian Trail, and climbing the stairs at Amicalola Falls. If a couple or small family wanted to visit in Helen, Georgia for a few days, it would cost them at least $250 a day to stay in a hotel and eat restaurant meals, but it would cost them less than $100 a day if they camped out in one of the many campgrounds in the area. And they could cook meals that are just as good, if not better, than meals that they would buy in local restaurants. 
The most popular campground in the area, and our personal favorite, is Unicoi State Park, located about six miles north of Helen. The park has 85 campsites divided into four areas. If you want water and electric hookups at your campsite, then you should select a site in either the Laurel Ridge area or the Little Brook Spur. The Laurel Ridge area is our favorite, and this photo shows the entrance of the Laurel Ridge area around Site 32 or 33. The sites in this area are small, so select a site that is as large as you can afford. These photos show three different campsites in the Laurel Ridge area that we occupied on three different years. The best tent camp sites are in the Hickory Hollow walk-in area, but these campsites do not have electricity at the site and water may be a few steps away, but they do have a very nice bathroom. Big Brook Spur sites are reserved for RVs, but this area has the bathroom that serves the Laurel Ridge area. This photo shows the bathroom on the right side. Since this park is extremely popular, especially during the October fest season, you'll need to reserve your campsites at least three months in advance. If you can't get a site at Unicoi State Park, then you should be able to find sites at one of four other state parks that are within 50-mile radius of Helen, Georgia. Our favorite would be Vogel State Park that's about 20 miles to the West. This park has 85 exceptionally nice campsites. This would be one of my favorite tent walk-in sites. Most of the park amenities are clustered around a small but beautiful little lake, and there is a trail that completely encircles this lake. Moccasin Creek State Park, located about 20 miles to the east of Helen, would be another possible choice for tent camping. You can also find 11 more U.S. Forest Service campgrounds located within 50 miles of Helen, Georgia. The largest one and the only one with showers is Rayburn Beach with 80 campsites located about 40 miles to the east. Andrews Cove Campground and Low Gap Creek Campground are located less than 10 miles away from Helen, Georgia, but I would not stay in these campgrounds because they are very small, having less than 15 campsites each, and do not have overnight security. You can also find several private RV parks located near Helen, Georgia, but to the best of my knowledge, only Jenny's Creek, located about 10 miles away, accepts tent campers, and they have a very nice tent camping area down near a creek. This was our campsite back in 2010 when we waited too long to make our reservation at Unicoi State Park. Well, I, I hope that you've enjoyed this little overview of Helen, Georgia and the surrounding area. And I hope that you'll consider visiting this special area of Northeast Georgia if you ever visit the Southeastern United States. For more information about great tent camping destinations in the Eastern United States, please visit my website, www.basictentcamping.com. A link to this site is provided in the description below. Remember, take more trips, travel further, visit more attractions, and save money. Go tent camping.